Parwaz, and Milnes after that. No, 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 is from zero when I was in the first elementary school and my first goal is to make money that's it to buy a PlayStation and then um, I started to sell a stickers and then it continues to sell a name card it continues to sell a donuts I used to sell an Oreo goreng it's a fried Oreo as well and then I sell a lot of things mostly reselling people stuff so I don't create my own products next 2008, I started my own surface uh, um, services to my friends, which is hacking. Just I, I help them to hack a Wi-Fi in the <laughs> our school. Yes, and then they pay me for that. And then yeah, I, I, I did a lot of hacking stuff, but I stopped in 2009 because I think it's not ethical to hack things. Next, in uh, but it didn't stop there because in, when I was in high school, I started my own uh, garment company called Java Indonesia Clothes, and now it's called Karya Loka Park Factory. And only just three years, we have 10 to 45 million rupiah monthly revenue and win best businessman competition nationally. And then 10 years ago, in 20 May 2012, I just graduated from high school. I started HeartLogic, an entrepreneurship platform to help new growing top entrepreneurs around the world. Not only you, top, but Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, the result. Uh, now we already supported more than 10,000 entrepreneurs around the world, from Asia, Europe, Middle East, Australia, and also USA. Um, we generate 100 plus million rupiah in donation. We have 100 plus PC in QB. We have a thousand, uh, more than 1,000 mentees with 50 million, million rupiah uh, in scholarship. And also we have more than 300 clients in uh, not just in Indonesia, but Europe, Asia, and others. And we also run three non-profit initiatives. We run three non-profit programs. We, we have five incubator programs, seven consulting areas, 10 plus investors, and so on. And also, I have to mention, we have 50 plus more hard troopers, which is, this is our employee, with more <coughs> women than men. Yeah. And then 2008, I started a personal pro uh, productivity project called Ranala when I was in CNBC. So basically, I use this card to exchange contact with, with the ministry, with the source, with the stock uh, and the others. So this is the impact of Pranala till now. And then with Pranala, we make technology work for us. And with HeartLogic, we make it happen now. And we cannot make it happen without you guys. So I need you to collaborate with me to expand to Asia. That's it. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh -huh. Wonderful questions for her. Yep. So, um, how do you guys, how do you want us to collaborate? Great <laughs> like, like, what company, what type of product? Yeah, so the first mission to expand in Asia is uh, Malaysia because I used to uh, have a have a uh, <laughs> because like uh, I have a friend so when I was in Cambodia and he wanted to promote Pranala there, so re he represents HeartLogic and also Pranala there by selling our products and he is representing also the consulting product. So he is selling the cards, he is selling the profile subscription, and he is also selling our consulting services. So that's one one thing that you can collaborate with with, with the organization. But like if you have a, a social project, if you have another project, uh, and especially in Indonesia, I have the resources to create a crowdfunding for you because like we have, we have a crowdfunding platform called Urundaya. It's it's totally non profits because like uh, I really separate non profits and profits. I don't want to mix it up, so that's why we never claim we are a social enterprise. Um, I'm just curious, you've yeah. had a lot of business experience. Mm -hmm. um, what, among all of these, what has been your social impact? Okay, so the social impact. Like, um, our goal, uh, how to measure it, is how many entrepreneurs succeeded and sustained. So that's that's how we measure things, like, that's number one. And from like, Hand, a thousand it could be from our programs we only have like seven ventures so the percentage is quite low to make them sustain but we make them start that's one of the biggest challenge we have for, uh, as well and then the second one we we just um, legalized our uh, foundation in 2020 so it's already legal 
And now the impact that the foundation wants is to create a financial independence. So our foundation is not really focusing on like uh, giving goods to people, but we teach them how to make goods. We teach them how to make money. We teach them how to be independent. And that's the, okay, thank you, time's up. Awesome, great job. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Subscribe ke bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala App. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas dan untuk video rekomendasi bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.